Hi friends, today we discuss about normal curve, important properties and its applications. Uh, we have to think what is mean by normal and uh, what are the features come under normality. For this we can pass to the presentation. The uh, literal meaning of normal is presented here. Almost all features are uh, presented in the form of a normal uh, distribution that is the extreme events are happened rarely but average events happens more frequently uh, there is a graph in the background of the presentation uh, probability is the basis of normality that is all probabilities happens normally uh, probability is represented in the form of a fraction that is uh, the probability of happening of a tossing of a coil uh, coin is 1 by 2 that is 50 percent chance or a dice its the probability is 1 by 6 that is uh, 1 by 6th of 100 percent chance. There are uh, many elementary prob principles of probability that can be read from the presentation and uh, see in this example a coin is tossed its probability of uh, getting head is 1 by 2 and getting tail is 1 by 2 that is probability of altogether head and tail that is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 that is the maximum probability is 1 and the minimum probability is 0 that is probability ranges from 0 to 1 and the 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 is 50 percentage chance we when we uh, toss two coins together what will happen uh, C1 and C2 are two coins. When we toss these two coins together, the probability of uh, happening this is C1, C2, H, H is 1 times C1, C2, that is C1 is head and C2 is tail. That, uh, how many chance of that occurrence? You may think it is 1, but uh, s uh, instead of C1 is H, C2 may H, that is to obtain one head and one tail, the chance is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4, that is half. But obtaining both two heads, 1 by 4, altogether there are four chances, in which 1 by 4 is the chance for two heads. 1 by 4 is the chance for two tail but one head and one tail quarter plus quarter that is, is equal to half. All to the total probability of heading all these quarter plus quarter plus half that is equal to one. That is explained in this uh, slide. Uh, we can see some formulas here. See, uh, the uh, h plus t all square that is equal to h square plus 2 h t plus t square. That is the same formula a plus b all square a square plus 2 ab plus b square. That's from this equation we can see that to get 2 h that is chance 1, 1 head and 1 tail two chances are there. To obtain two tails, that is one chance. That is, uh, here you can see one here, two here and one here. Okay, in this way we can expand this formula. This two stands for two coins. If three coin, h plus t all cube, h plus t uh, raised to 4 h plus 
t all raised to 5. In this way, when we toss 5 coins all together, what is the result? It can be easily assessed from the Pascal's triangle. Pascal's triangle, you may be familiar. 1, 1 to 1, 1, 3, 5, 3, 1, in this fashion. Or it can be obtained from this e equation, a plus b n all raised to n. From this also we can obtain the how many uh, chances are there to obtain three heads together when we toss three coins together. Okay, uh, it is obtained from another formula uh, that is n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial. Uh, when we toss 10 coils together, what will be the result? See, h plus t all raised to 10 is equal to c raised to 10, h raised to 10. Okay. In this fashion, we obtain, okay, see here, 1 h raised to 10 plus 10 h9 t1. There is uh, 10 chances are there. Uh, out of the 1024 chances, 10 chances are there to obtain 9 heads and 1 tail. Out of 1024 chances, there are uh, 45, uh, there are 120 chances to obtain. 120 times we got 45. Uh, sorry, um, 8 heads and 2 tails. Okay, In this fashion, we can expand the probability of obtaining heads and tails while we toss or when we toss uh, 10 coins together. See, uh, when we plot these probabilities in the form of a graph, what will happen? See, uh, probability of obtaining 10 head is 1024, uh, 1 out of 1024, 9 head and 1 tail, 10 out of 1024, 8 head and 2 tail, 45 out of 1024, 7 head and 3 tails, 120 out of 1024, 6 head and 4 tails, 10 out of 1024. Uh, 1024 in this fashion. Okay, when we plot all these together in the form of a graph, if we plot bar diagram, uh, it we can obtain this type of a histogram. Okay, and in the middle, uh, there is a chance of obtaining, uh, see, five heads and five tails. Uh, 252 times we got out of 1024. That is a maximum chance of getting uh, the uh, in, out of 1024, uh, the maximum probability is obtain 5 heads and 5 tails. Uh, then if we plot the frequency curve of the uh, through the above uh, histogram, it will look like uh, as a many sided polygon. These are the dots of the uh, middle point of the histogram and when we connect this with uh, straight lines we get a polygon and we can smoothen it into a smoother uh, frequency curve and this curve is the normal curve. If the number of factors coins in the above cases determining the polygon are increased, the lines which constitute the polygon would increase regularity in number and become progressively short. Finally, when the number of factors become very large, the polygon would exhibit a perfectly smooth surface like the curve below. Uh, it, is a, it is a normal probability curve, it is a bell shaped curve. Uh, it, is, uh, it is a hypothetical curve. It is, or it is a mathematical model. It is. Uh, it may not be obtained in uh, real life or practical situations. So this theoretical normal distribution is simply called normal probability curve. Uh, 
there are uh, this idea is uh, first discovered by abraham de mori uh, in uh, 1665 to 1750 for his uh, time he's a french mathematician uh, later it is uh, developed by many other uh, astronomers in which carl gauss is uh, very famous so this curve is also known as gaussian curve uh in the honor of carl gauss it is also known as normal curve of errors okay the normal curves take into account the law which states greater a deviation from the means value the less frequently it occurs there are many features of normal curve is uh, illustrated in the uh slide Now, usually Uh, the curve do not reaches the baseline and it is called asymptotic do not touches the baseline it starts from minus infinity to extend to plus infinity but majority of the area of the curve is come under minus 3 and plus 3 so we usually says that minus 3 sigma to plus 3 sigma as an range of normal curve that is the starting point is minus 3 sigma and end to plus 3 sigma what is mean by sigma the standard is simply the standard deviation the unit of normal curve is standard deviation uh, as there is no starting point in the left side and no end point in the right side we usually measure the starting point of the normal curve from the center that is a mean from the mean value how many standard deviation unit it extend to left and extend to right that is a measure we count from see in this background image this is the mean this is the first standard unit this is the second standard unit okay this is the first standard unit in left this is the second standard unit in the left this is the third standard unit in the left that is starting from this point it ranges to this Uh, in between this minus 3 sigma to plus 3 sigma the total area is 99.73 percentage in between minus 2 sigma and plus 2 sigma the total area is 95.45 percentage 44 percentage in between 1 sigma minus 1 sigma and plus 1 sigma the total area is 68.26 percentage it is explained again here here you can see the starting point that is the uh, mean point is here that is the standard deviation is zero from uh, mean uh, point it extend from minus 1 to plus 1 the from the zero to minus 1 there is 34.13 percentage zero to one sigma there is 34.13 percentage of the population that is the all together this area constitute 68.26 percentage uh all together from minus 2 to plus 2 then minus 3 to plus 3 that we consider all area is explained in this graph read it thoroughly okay then uh there are many peculiarity of the normal curve see in this graph the from the uh, central point to the left the 50 percentage of the population lies from the central point to the right the and, uh, next 50 percentage lies that is the total 100 percentage that is it is bilaterally symmetrical from the middle line the both side are equal that is bilaterally symmetrical <laughs> 50 percentage uh, area of the curve lies to the left of the uh, maximum ordinate 50 percent lies to the right side then uh, various aspect can be measured from the normal probability curve the quartile deviation uh, the mean deviation the skewness the kurtosis these features can be measured from the normal curve and uh, Um, the 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 ninety five percentage population uh, lies in between plus or minus one point nine six sigma. Actually, it is two sigma, but in, 
you you may recall that two in between the two sigma um, it from this slide.